Hello everybody, Nurgleprobe here and welcome back to the Basilisk Paint Project where this is part 3 of a series that we're recording live on Twitch. You can find the link to that down below. It's been a while since I posted one of these and it's been a while since I painted. I am very sorry about that. I've been getting some new stuff to actually do a better stream actually. I've gotten a new uh, tripod for my camera so that I don't have to have this weird angle that you see right here. And I also got myself a new lamp that I can move around so it's easier for me to see while I'm painting and hopefully get some better light uh, going on as well. But mostly the camera angle is the most important part so that you can actually see the details that I'm working on because it is kind of hard to see in this angle and this distance where the focus don't really work the way I want it to. Anyway, on this part we started with Balthasar Gold to paint in the uh, Aquila or the wings and the skull and the, head, uh, the front there. So once again, we're painting all of the dirt and rusty effects on the Basilisk uh, Cannon part here, as you can see. And we're using Reichland Flesh Shade for this to get that kind of a brown feeling that we also did on the hole on the first part of the videos. Uh, and really, I'm just going... This is really tedious. It takes, it takes a long time to do this. It's a really good effect, though. I enjoy doing this part, but it takes a long time, and you don't really... I don't swap it up much during this part. There is so many details, so many bolts, so many corners that I want to look dirty and rusty. So there will be a lot of flesh shade used during this part of the uh, of the project. So I'm just going to use this time to mention that me and H8, you can find him on YouTube and Twitch as well, just started a Warhammer 40k podcast or Ministry Games podcast. Uh, but right now we're focusing mostly, and it will probably mostly be 40k in the future as well, uh, called The Command Point. And it is posted right now on YouTube as well, so you can check uh, links to that right here. So if you are a 40k player, please go and check that out and hope you enjoy it. We will be doing episodes for that as it really news appear or as the rumors appear. And we'll just uh, do like shorter episodes in the future. The first two episodes that will be posted are kind of long, but we will be keeping it to between 10 and 30 minutes in the future. Just to talk about new rumors that come out or things that we're interested in, new codexes. Of course, codex talks will be a bit longer because that's a bigger subject to cover. But I hope you'll enjoy it. Go and check that out. Thank you. So we're finally moving on to the next color, using model color Flat Brown. We use a sponge to dirty up all of the Basilisk Cannon here. We, yeah, just basically dab a sponge all over it with Flat Brown to give it a dirty and more nasty feel. I also used the flat brown to actually paint some uh, like dirt on top of the barrel here, as you can see, to make it look like water has been running down the sides of it and making the dirt go down, because that makes sense, right? There's also going to be a lot of rust on top of that cannon. I want it to look dirtier. It is a heretic army, so everything should be a bit dirtier, I think, anyway. So the line I'm painting on top of the barrel here is actually just to cover up the connection line between the two parts that make up the barrel. And uh, well that plus I feel like, you know, water should have landed on top of the thing, right? Or rain and such. So it would make sense if there's more dirt and rust on top of it. So I just thought we can cover it up and we can still make it look good and to make sense and everything. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm painting on top of it like that. For this next part, I decided to use Balthasar Gold to paint into the flat brown to make it look like it's rusting away as well in the dirt. 
I wasn't really a big fan of this effect, so I'm probably gonna just paint over this with orange and make it look like actual rust later on. But this is a learning process. This is the first Basilisk I'm painting for the army. So I just wanted to test it and see what it looked like. It doesn't look bad, but it's not great. And here we are with the finished, well, it's not finished yet, but finished for this part of the stream anyway. I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, go and check the links down below to find the Twitch stream where you can see this painted live, and hit all the links, and hit the follows and subscribes, leave a comment what you think, does it look good or bad? Thank you!